not locks, not chains, not jail cells, not straitjackets. He was Harry Houdini. Emerging from the obscure entertainment world of the fairgrounds, beer halls, and sideshows, he captured the imagination of the world. Almost 70 years after his tragic death, his legacy lives on. Today, it is a woman who risks her life by attempting to recreate one of Houdini's most dangerous escapes. Shackled with steel chains and thrown into a potentially watery grave, she will face the unknown, and the ultimate penalty for failure awaits her. Coming right up on Houdini, unlocking his secrets. Tonight, six master magicians will attempt to recreate Houdini's most legendary feats, including the deadly underwater chain escape, the secret of the straitjacket, the famous Chinese thumb tie, the impossible human morphing illusion, the treacherous water torture cell, Houdini's weird needle swallowing, and the exploding coffin of death. And how did Houdini do it? Stand by for Houdini unlocking his secrets. Almost a hundred years, Harry Houdini's name has been synonymous with mystery, escape, and magic. Hello, I'm Robert Urich, and I'm at the Magic and Movie Hall of Fame in Las Vegas, among an amazing collection of Houdini's own personal memorabilia. Tonight on the stage of Caesar's Palace, and deep beneath the murky waters of Lake Mead, Houdini's greatest feats will be attempted by some of today's greatest magicians. Much of what you will witness tonight is very dangerous, indeed life-threatening. Many people have died trying to recreate these feats. They are best left to the professionals like Charlotte Pendragon. The curious have gathered on the shores of Lake Mead. Months of preparation have led to this moment. It is a trial of passage. A last prep with oxygen. I'm going to ask you to, um, participants to check all my locks and make sure they are in as tight as they can be. All the locks and all the chains are real. Just make sure that's right. Everything's good. Yeah. Charlotte signals that she's ready. In the tradition of Houdini, she prepares her chained and heavily shackled body for the plunge into the chilly 62 degree waters of Lake Mead. The enemy is lack of air. The enemy is cold. The enemy is panic. A hint of the cold to come. And now, the moment of truth. Divers attempt to monitor her progress. Safety crews stand by. Pendragon. 